Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet and the worksheet is about counting money. And I think money is such an important thing that we need to learn how to do because it's something we're gonna to need to know for the rest of our lives. So let's look at our worksheet today. It says the name of our worksheet is called a sweet shop. So we're going into a sweet shop today. Help the kids buy the sweets in the sweet shop. How do you make the following sums of money using the fewest coins? Circle the coins you would need. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna look at all these different coins here. It looks like we've got pennies and quarters and a half dollar and we've got a nickel over here. We've got all different kinds of money. We've also got a dime, I forgot the dimes over here. And what we need to try to do is we need to figure out how many of these we need to buy 55 cents. And there's a lots of different combinations, but it says we need the money that uses the fewest coins, okay? So we've got this box of sweets over here and it costs 55 cents. So let's just start to write down some of the different ways that we can make up 55 cents, but we have to use the coins that are over here on this worksheet. So the first way that I can think of is I know that quarters are pretty big, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna draw out a way that we can make 55 cents using quarters. So I see one quarter, and I see another quarter, and I'm gonna write this down, they're 25 cents. And I know when you add 25 plus 25, that equals 50, so we need five more cents to make 55. And just by looking over here, I see that there's lots of different pennies. So one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna use five pennies, okay? And I'm just gonna put a one on them to represent a penny or one cent, okay? Three, four, Right? So I have five different pennies and two quarters, and that equals 55 cents. So let's see if we can think of another way to come up with 55 cents, okay? Let's use the quarters again. I know quarters are big, and I want to use quarters or, or um, something that is big so it is fewer than adding them all up together, okay? So I could go like this. I could go 25, okay, again and 25, all right, 25 plus 25, that equals 50, and I need another way to add five cents. And I know that a nickel, that's all the way over here, I know that a nickel equals five cents, so that's another way that I could do it. I could just use two quarters and a nickel, okay? Over here, how many coins did we use? We used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins, and then over here, we only used three coins to make 55 cents, and I forgot to write how much it equals. It equals 55 when you add them together. So they both equal 55, but this way uses fewer number of coins. Now I also know that we can take dimes and nickels to make 25 cents. Let's see if that works. Let's come over here, okay? Down lower, let's do let's do 10 cents, which is a dime, okay? And 10 cents, which is a dime. I see two dimes right over here, okay? And let's do 5 cents. I saw the nickel over there, okay? That equals 25, and then I see a quarter, so let's do a quarter, 25 plus 25 equals 50, okay? And I've already used my nickel, so I can't use another nickel, so let's use the pennies again. Pennies are each one cent, so one, two, three, four, and five. Wow, we used a lot of pieces of money here, don't we? We have a lot of coins, but let's make sure it equals 55 cents. So we've got 10 plus 10, which is 20, plus five, which is 25. So 25 plus another 25 is 50, and then one, two, three, four, five. So again, that equals 55 cents, but this time how many different coins do we use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine coins. That was probably the most that we've used so far, so that's not gonna be the best. So far, it looks like the 25 plus 25 plus five 
five is the best, but let's see if there's any other way we can do it. But let's come back over here and let's look and see. Okay, we've got lots of different coins over here. Oh, we haven't used this one yet. Does anybody know what this one is? This is actually a 50 cent piece or a half dollar, okay? We don't see those a lot, but those equal 50 cents. So over here, I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna write 50 cents, okay? And then what is another way that we could add on to that? Well, we've still got our nickel, so let's do that. We've got five cents right over here. Oh wow, look at that, 50 is a big amount, so it is only one coin there and one coin here, and that equals again 55, and so far this is lower than this. This was our lowest one, and that was three coins, or fewest, and this is even fewer. This is only two coins, so let's take a quick look. Is there any other way that we could put these together that would be less than two coins and by looking at it I don't think there is so I think this right here is our answer so what I want you to do is I want you to come over here and we're gonna it says circle the coins that you would need so I'm gonna put a circle around my 50 cent piece or my half dollar and then my nickel right over here and that equals 55 cents that's our answer today Whew, that was a lot of work we had to try it lots of different ways but the fewest amount of coins was this way, our half dollar and our nickel. So nice job today. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.